In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome transition between two video clips in Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got two video clips on your composition, you first just want to begin by just separating these. So I'm just going to go to this first clip and we'll just crop this over. So around the two second mark, we'll crop that there. And then we'll go on to our first clip and we'll do the same thing. So we'll just trim through to find the bit of the footage that we want. So we want this bit here. So the food's coming in. We'll transition from here and then we'll make a cut here. So we'll go Command Shift D and then delete the last part of that. So we're going to transition from here into here. So what we need to do from here is we'll go into this first layer. We'll select the drop down arrow, go transform. Then we've got scale position and rotation. So we'll go maybe a second before the end of that or half a second before the end of that clip. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on position, scale and rotation. Now we'll go towards the end of that clip and then minus one frame. So to the very end and then back on yourself by one frame. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to decrease the scale. I'm going to rotate this. And then I'm just going to move the position over like so. So when we play this back, you can see this is how that now looks. It doesn't really look particularly great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the anchor point of this layer so that this now animates in a new and interesting way. So I'm going to put the anchor point. So the anchor point at the moment is in the center. That's here. I'm going to put the anchor point to the top right of this clip and it's going to change how that rotation looks. So we'll just go towards the end. And then we'll move this anchor point, as you can see, anchor point is here. We'll move this up to the top right of the clip. There you go. So I've popped that just up there. And as you can see, the position has now changed. So what we're going to have to do is change the position at the beginning. So hover over those first keyframes and move the position so that this now fills our video. There you go. And as you can see, the position also needs to change down here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just delete that keyframe there and then I'll just budge the position over again. So somewhere around here. And when we play this back, you can see that's how that looks now. It looks a bit better, but again, it's still not perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the gap between these keyframes. There you go. And then we're just going to select all of those keyframes or we'll right click on one of them, go keyframe assistant and select easy ease. So this should change the look of the animation slightly. As you can see, that looks a lot nicer already. Now, at the moment, we're seeing the black background creeping in behind this footage as we decrease the scale. And that just looks a little bit ugly, in my opinion. So we're going to go into effects and presets and search for motion tile. Drop that onto your video clip. And then we'll go into the motion tile effect and we'll change the output width to 300, the output height to 300, and then we'll select mirror edges. And all of a sudden that looks pretty good. So we've got this cool transition in here. Of course, at the moment though, it's not exactly extreme. The movement isn't exactly doing a lot. So instead we're going to make this more extreme. So we'll go to those last keyframes. We're going to pull the scale down even further. So we'll go to 60 or 65, somewhere around there. And then we'll add more rotation. And then feel free to adjust the position so that it now fits the screen again. So when we play this back, you can see that should now look a lot more dramatic. And it does. It looks really cool. So now essentially we just need to do the same thing on the layer below. So we're going to go into this layer. We'll go roughly a half a second or a second over. We'll go into transform and create a new keyframe on position, scale and rotation. Now from here, we're just going to zoom the scale in. We'll rotate this around the opposite way. So we'll go for positives this time. Let's have a look and see how that looks. We're just going to increase the scale a little bit more to make that more dynamic. We'll increase the rotation as well again to make that more dynamic. And then we'll close the gap between these keyframes. So we'll make that a quicker transition. And again, we'll select all of those keyframes. We'll right click keyframe assistant and easy ease. So as you can see, we're starting to get there, but it doesn't look great. We're stopping and then starting again. So what we'll do is we're just going to cut the start of that video. We'll cut the end of the previous video and then we we'll just close that gap together like this. 
and that looks a lot better already. Although the problem is that's still not quite perfect. So what we're going to do is we're just going to turn on the motion blur. So select everything, command A, and then turn on the motion blur using this icon. If you can't see that, then select toggle switches slash modes, and that should reveal this. So select this, and then make sure the motion blur icon is blur. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to force some more motion blur. So we'll close both of these layers down. We're going to right click both of them, pre-compose. Uh, we can call this transition. The transition point was somewhere around here. There you go. So there's the transition. We're going to go into effects and presets and search for force motion blur. So CC force motion blur. And then once that's applied, you just want to go ahead and select motion blur samples. We can pull this all the way up. So let's go for 170, 180 if we want to be really extreme. We can increase the shutter angle. So let's go for 300. So we get more motion blur, as you can see. We can actually take that to 360 if you wanted to add even more motion blur. Then we'll go to the very beginning, just before that transition begins. We'll make a cut there. So we'll go Command Shift D. Then we'll go to where the transition finishes. So it was somewhere around here. Command Shift D. We'll delete CC Force Motion Blur from the beginning and the end layers. And then when we render this out and watch this back, you'll see we've got this really awesome video transition now taking place. And that motion blur is really helping to hide that cut. The thing is, though, I'd like to add a bit more character on the transition out. I'd like to add a bounce. So what I'm going to do is I'll go into the transition pre-comp. We'll go to the food two layer. So the second video footage we will go scale. We'll move a few frames over to the right. Create a brand new keyframe on scale. Then we'll go to that second point and I'm just going to pull the scale down. So somewhere around 80% and don't worry about these black edges because we're going to go into effects and presets and search for motion tile. Drop motion tile on that footage and then we'll go output width 300, output height 300, mirror edges. And now if we go back to our main comp and we render this back out, you'll notice we've got this really awesome video transition with that bouncing effect now applied. Now that looks really great, but there's just one more thing that I'd love to do. And that is just to add an exposure change at that point of the transition. So around here, we're going to animate up to a bright exposure and then we'll animate back down. So I'm going to go layer new adjustment layer. Make sure the adjustment layer is on the very top. Then we'll go to that point in the transition. So here it is. We'll search for effects and presets, search for levels, levels, drop that onto your adjustment layer. So with levels now applied, you just want to make sure you're at the point where the transition flicks over from the first clip to the second clip. So here we'll pull the input white all the way up to a bright number. So somewhere around 80, 90, 100. We'll press T on the keyboard to load opacity and create a brand new keyframe at 100. Then we'll go roughly three, maybe four keyframes over to the left. We'll pull this down to around 40%. Then we'll go back even further and we'll pull this down to zero. Then we'll go to that last keyframe, go over to the right and pull this down to zero. So we're going to slowly go into that exposure effect and then that's going to flash at that point of the transition. Now, as you can see, that looks great, but in my example, we are starting to catch the edge of this black frame. So we're going to go back into the transition pre-comp and at that point here, so somewhere around there, there you go, we're starting to catch it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that first food layer. So that first video clip, we'll go command CV, go to the bottom layer, press S to load up scale, we'll turn off the keyframe animation so we'll deactivate that and increase the scale and that's going to fill in those gaps and then when we go back to our main composition we render this out and play this back you'll see we've now got this really awesome transition right inside of adobe after effects and there you go thank you ever so much for watching this video i really do appreciate your support and hopefully i will see you in a future video see you there